Diana says, uh, we have a friend who seems to want to delve more and more deeply into conspiracy theories. He told us that the Star of David is actually a satanic symbol widely used in pagan and occult areas. The only thing I can find on the internet about it is that it was introduced by Mr. Rothschild in the 40s and that he was not a believer but had ties to the occult. Can you please tell us the truth behind this symbol? And we are Messianic believers and we would like to be able to confront these anti-Semitic theories with truth. Thank you for your response. All right, well, let me just tell you, Diana, uh, I've heard this stuff before over the years. I heard it, you are absolutely right it's born out of anti-Semitic thinking. People who want to be opposed to Israel will find anything they can to complain about Israel. Anything that is, 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 is accepted as being the things of Israel. Whether it being a kippah or a talit or a star of David or some other symbology that is associated with Israel, they always want to tie it back to the cult. Here's the reason why. Well, we know we don't want to have anything to do with the devil, right? We don't want to have anything to do with the symbols of the devil. And, and if all of a sudden all of these things that are symbols of Israel are symbols of the devil, well, then guess what the logic is? So you stay away from Israel and anything to do with Israel. I want to remind you of something. Israel is the name of the kingdom. That's the name of the kingdom. So do you think there's a possibility that the devil, who hates the kingdom of God, could possibly conjure up some lies to deceive people, to get you to follow a lie and get you to go away from the things of the Lord? Yeah, I think that's been his dominant tactic uh, throughout the entire history of mankind. So here's what I say when somebody comes up to me and wants to talk to me about, well, you know the Star of David, you know it's a satanic symbol. Get out of my face. Get behind me, Satan. I'm not listening to your lies. You go shell, you know, sell that lie stuff down in the ditch. You get down there with the rest of your anti-Semitic idiots. We're serving the Lord here. And we're going to pursue the light, not the darkness. And we don't waste our energy on stupid arguments going around to defame other people. Believe me, there's enough demons in this world and there's enough evil in this world. We don't have to go searching for it out of God's people. Let's encourage God's people and strengthen God's people and edify people. And seek that which is pure and kind instead of trying to find complaint with something that we see as a common thing associated with Israel or with God's people. What a bunch of waste of time. So I really don't waste any of my time on those people. And what I would say is, is I'm not interested in discussing any of this with you and you need to stop wasting your time on this.